Oh, welcome everyone. Um, so we're here to talk about um, the next stage for the CTV site. Um, Rob Kerr, who's our development manager from Sarah, is here as well, but also Dr. Man Alkizi. Alkizi. So he, he was also here just to speak afterwards for anyone who's got any particular questions. So as you can see, we've, we've been cleaning up the site over the last, um, the last uh, period. And we've been talking with the families about trying to get um, the site in a much better state ready for February the 22nd. So um, what we want to do over these next few weeks um, before February the 22nd is clean the site up properly. We're looking at grassing um, most of the area of the car park, um, putting some planter boxes in various parts of the site, and they're also putting, you know, removing most of the fencing so it becomes a much easier site for people um, to move through. Um, at this stage, we're leaving the foundations for the building where they are. Um, you know, a lot of the families want us to leave them there, and they're being left there for the time being as we work through what people want to, what, what to happen with the site. Um, and I think those conversations with the families will continue over, over this next period of time. But the key thing is we really want to get into a much sort of a much more friendly, more welcoming state by the time February the 22nd comes around. Train over to you, Liam. I'd like to um, acknowledge Dr Al Kaisi for coming to the Christchurch City Council. We held our first Canterbury Earthquake uh, Recovery uh, Committee of the Whole uh, at our first um, opportunity uh, since we established new standing uh, committees within the Council. And um, Dr Al, Al Kaisi was one of the ones who came. And in, in, in fact, holding the meeting was a little bit like Pandora's box all of a sudden all of the issues that had been building and people felt they didn't have a place to go, uh, suddenly they had a place to go and he came and I know that he spoke uh, to the hearts of every single one of the councillors and his passion for seeing this site uh, turned into a place where people could quietly remember uh, certainly by the February the 22nd, which is the third anniversary of that earthquake and a very um, powerful year in many cultures, but also we know uh, from a lot of the uh, research that's been done that it's going to be a very hard year for a lot of people. So I just want to publicly acknowledge you and thank you uh, for coming uh, to the City Council. Um, I've, I ran for um, the Mayor of, uh, to become the Mayor of the City. I launched my campaign on the 1st of September, which was the first day of spring. And I remember we walked around the city and we looked at different aspects of the city and that was uh, something that I, I spoke of as we moved around the city. We were just basically reflecting on what uh, was happening in the central city as part of that launch. And we came to the site uh, to lay a floral tribute and to remember. And I remember looking at the site and thinking that this isn't right. And uh, so um, I approached uh, the chief executive of Sarah, Roger Sutton, uh, and then Dr. Al Kaisi came to, to our council. So I think that things have come together. Uh, it gives us an opportunity uh, to, to really respect uh, the loss of life that occurred in this site by ensuring that the place is tidied up for 22nd of February next year. So I'd like to thank the Minister, thank uh, Roger Sutton and his team, and to thank the CERA staff and the um, City Care staff who came here on Friday and started that work. Thank you. What we've done working with um, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and, and, and other parts of the government, we've set up a process with the families to, to ask questions about what they want to see in the memorial, and we've done that through, different, uh, through a website and through written material and email and all the rest of it. Um, and we had a meeting with the families uh, that uh, uh, Maan organised um, and invited us to. We were able to start feeding back what we've been hearing and getting more feedback and, and, and some of the people from overseas came to that meeting as well. So um, it's a start of a long journey and a long dialogue that we're having.